Okay guys, so today what we're doing here is we're gonna run my house um, on the EU 6500 and this is the whole house. So uh, I wanted to see how long this propane tank would run in a simulated power outage. So basically what I did is I looked at the tear weight, which is the empty weight of a propane tank. So that's 18 pounds with no propane in it. So I'm, I weighed this, so I have it on a scale actually, and it was 37 pounds with just a propane, and then it was 41 pounds when I added the um, regulator and its connectors to it. So there's 19 pounds of propane in there, which is a pretty good amount. It's, it's I would consider it nearly full. And um, what we're gonna do is start this up and we're going to uh, hit the transfer switch so the main power's out and we're relying on the generator and we're going to run that throughout the day now it is a sunny day out it's about 85 degrees it's uh it's like nine in the morning and it's going to be around 90 today so the central air is going to be kicking on a lot and I do have a soft starter on the central air, which is great. Uh, and it central air itself uses around 2000 watts with the uh, blower fan and the uh, condenser compressor. Everything runs 2000. And I will have some things on like some uh, ceiling fans and uh, computers and whatnot will be on in the house. So I don't think we're gonna get anywhere near the 6000 watt load. Uh, we may surge on that when the air conditioner kicks on but uh, other than that uh, we're gonna run it and see if we could uh, run all day so uh, go ahead and uh, start this up and uh, get everything set up so let's see what we got here over here we're gonna turn the propane on that's my initial setting right there i may have to adjust that we're gonna prime it Propane's connected. I don't know if I showed this uh, on the other video, but I did decide to go underneath. Um, I drilled a hole underneath and I ran the hose out. I put a grommet in so it wouldn't scrape on anything metal when I drilled through. And then I'm probably end up just gonna um, connect this up here somehow. I haven't figured that part out yet, but anyway, let's go ahead and start this up. so that it's uh, saving fuel. It sounds really good right now. About uh, two feet away. I'm just gonna go about 20 feet away so you can hear it. Here's me, but the, the insects are making more noise than the generator. So this is probably around 20 feet, give or take. And that's, um, that's as loud as it's going to get. So when it goes on eco mode, you probably won't even hear it. Maybe what I'll do is I'll come right back to that same spot on eco mode. I think we can put it on eco mode now. Okay, so now it's running on eco mode. Come back over to the same spot. So you can hear it, barely hear it. Very quiet. All right, so I just uh, switched the transfer panel, so I'm running on generator now. It 
is 10 after 9 by the way, so just did an official time check. So I'll come back out when I know the air conditioner kicks back on. Sometimes when I switch over from main power to backup power, the air conditioner will wait five minutes just as a safety precaution uh, before the uh, compressor will kick back on. So once that comes on, I'll come back out and we'll get a better reading. I'm going to guess it's probably going to say somewhere around 2,500 watts based on what I see right now. So what's on right now is probably lights. Um, the I have two refrigerators, so those could be on. But that's probably why I'm getting 350 watts right now. All right, so I just heard the air kick on. So you can see it says down there, cool on. It's at 81 outside, 75 inside. And I just happened to be outside when the, uh, when the generator kicked on. So I heard it rev up just a little bit, but you can now see it's using 2000 watts. only jumped up 200 rpms above the minimum rpms when it's in eco mode and that's with the central air conditioning on oh, just goes to show you and i've been saying this all along in my other videos you do not need a beast of a generator if you have a soft starter now again i don't have a five ton unit i think this is a two and a half or three ton i can't remember but i have it's a heat pump um, but there is a soft starter on it and it just greatly reduces that um, incoming rush Amps when it goes and start up. I wish I had this on when it came on because it revved up just a little bit for that surge when it came in. But the uh, overload light never came on and just handled it with ease. And I knew it would because I started that central air with uh, Predator 3500 and I also started it with two Honda EU 2000s. Now both of those were connected to a transformer to get me up to 240 volts, but, but nonetheless, they started. get a little bit away now keep in mind this is not a, a permanent setup I have here I've got some things going on waiting for an electrician um, but this will be on the side of my house uh, next to the transfer panel I won't have this uh, same setup that I have here right now but what I wanted to say here was that the specs on the 6500 I think it's a um, 389 cc engine 13 horsepower give or take and it, on gasoline the tank itself I think is four and a half gallons on when, when run on gas and I think it says on quarter load it's rated for like 14 hours if i if i'm not mistaken 14 or 18 hours i i'd have to look confirm that so i'm hoping that i can at least get uh eight hours i should get more than that uh, on this because technically there's you know almost four well 20 pounds which i guess somewhere is around a neighborhood of four gallons of uh, maybe a little bit more than four gallons of propane in here so even if we try to equate propane to gas, which, you know, it, it, it can't quite do that, but it, as in rough terms, even if I just said, okay, you know, a gallon, um, four gallons will get me 18 hours, I should, I'm hoping somewhere come in the neighborhood of 12 gallons. So, um, and it depends. I mean, if it becomes nine o'clock at night and if this thing's still running, I'm just gonna shut it off because that, all I would ever need is if I'm going to run this overnight is to get, you know, 10 to 12 hours of overnight time out of it. So I'd be happy if I got 12 hours. But again, we won't know, won't know what we get while we're doing this. All right, so it is 11 o'clock right now. So we're almost uh, two hours into this. And um, 85 degrees outside right now. Air conditioner is not on. Might come on when we take a walk out here. So this was at 41 pounds. 
with everything set on here. So we're gonna see if we can weigh this and see what it says now. The sun's out too much. I can't quite read that, but I don't know. It looks like 38.8 to me. So. What happened there is uh, uh, what happened right at that moment was the air conditioner kicked on. It sounds good at 2500 RPMs. show you the um, total harmonics while the air conditioner was running so let's take a quick a quick peek so we're at 1.7 total harmonic distortion that's with the air conditioner running right now it is 0.6 when the air conditioner shuts off now this refrigerator in the garage I have here is running as well right now so it's a bit noisy with motors um, but you can see how low that total harmonic distortion is Show you the sine wave again under load so you can see sine wave looks beautiful all right so we're coming up here on hour six all right so i moved it just a little bit and this time this time i got 30. i'm not saying 29.6 but i got 30 out of it which 30 i believe to be accurate so that would make more sense so if i'm down to 30 right now and I was 34 two hours ago. So I really am using four pounds in two hours, or to set it a better way, I'm using two pounds an hour. It sounds more accurate. That's what I've been getting here before. We know that's 18 and we add four, so the, the empty tank is 18 and then that adapter and hose was four. So 18, 22, that means there's four pounds left. So um, we're gonna shut down today and uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get anywhere you know, between uh, one and four more hours out of it. Okay guys, so. It is the next day. I did uh, <clears throat> take the weight of that without that on there, and it was 22 pounds. So um, the tear weight is 18, so that means there's four pounds of propane left in there, which should last around two hours. So what we're going to do here is start this back up and um, see how long it runs. We'll give it a start.
did just get a time check and it was uh, 5 46 p.m. So temperature is about 85 degrees. Good news is the sun's mostly down. Um, it's a little partly cloudy out. So um, it's not terribly hot out here, but the air conditioner will definitely still be running. There's no doubt about it. As a matter of fact, because I was getting everything switched over and temperature was up to 79 already. So um, it's a Wi-Fi thermostat. So what will happen is um, the internet will go out and then the uh, modem will reboot and the firewall will reboot and then it will come back online and then it will register that it needs to cool the house. So it'll probably take a minute or two for that to come on. Yesterday, I believe we had eight hours of runtime, and that was on eco mode. But I was averaging probably somewhere in the neighborhood of um, 2,600 watts when the air conditioning central air conditioning was on, and you know, some lights and the computer and stuff like that. And then when the um, AC went off, it would drop down to about 300 watts. So uh, the AC was on quite a bit yesterday, you know, on and off because of how hot it was. So it's about 646, 650-ish, it's a little bit over an hour. And we're gonna weigh it. If my math is right, we should probably be, uh, let me think here. So we'd have 18, 19, 20 plus four. Should, should say around 24 pounds. Okay, 24.6. That means we used two pounds in that last hour, and that also means we have around two pounds left. You can see there, the hour changed to 20. So, it's all said and done, it should say 21. And that would mean we got 10 hours out of the uh, tank here. So we'll come back. show you the weight remember the tear weight is 18 pounds which means that's the tear weight of just the tank with no propane in it so let's see what we get here you can see 18 pounds so the tank is completely empty 